We're here today at Gatton Auto. This is Josh. He's the uh, retail manager. Retail manager, yeah. uh, mate. You'll give us a bit of a rundown on what the dealership is and was yeah. and where you're at with yeah, everything. Definitely. So um, the dealership originally started um, way back when as a Cobb and Co stop. So it was a black and then into a blacksmith. Uh, and it's been a General Motors site since the early 1900s, right. um, where it was owned by the Wilson brothers. Um, it was then changed hands to the Tatums and then the current ownership of uh, John and John Morrison, Peter Gordon and Jason Gordon have owned it since 1984. Okay. Um, we took on the Nissan franchise in 1986 um, and we were proud um, Holden and General Motors dealers from day one basically. So right. as we'll touch on uh, shortly, we've got a, a uh, FX that was sold new here. Um, Section one here, which was sold new here as well. So we're, you know, we're car guys. We love cars. Yep. Um, we love. The, we've got a soft spot for old Holdens, obviously. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And mate, you're obviously going to retain that logo up there, the Holden logo. Yeah. Look, the signs are still up. We're probably one of the last dealers in in the country with the signs up. Um, Bit unique. Uh, yeah. Look, we. we it's a shout out to our history. I mean, we're not in a rush to pull them down at any no. any race at all because it's um they're special. Yes. Um, they're definitely um. A part of who we are as yep. an identity. Like when we when when we got the announcement through, we, I tell people it was like a death in the family. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It was. Yeah. And, and it, you know, you have a strong connection yep. and loyalty to, to a brand. And I've been lucky enough to work for John, Peter, and Jason for 20 years, and, and I've loved every minute of it. Long affiliation, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. We'll, we'll touch on these cars. I eh? see what this yeah. is. So this is uh, an, a 77 Bathurst uh, GTR X1. So matching numbers. Okay. Um, we've uh, it was fully stripped and pulled down and um, restored uh, in the early 80s right. here on site. So it was painted, repainted on site. Um, and as you see it here is basically how it's been for, for 20 or 30 years now. So very special car. Very. Um, uh, very rare um, and, and a gorgeous colour as well. It is. It's a very nice car, mate. So that's been fully restored, that car? Uh, yeah, well, a long time ago now, but yeah, it was stripped right back. The motor was rebuilt, um, you know, a few little bits and bobs done along the way. Yep. Um, recently, we uh, we changed the wheels to the, the Sprint Masters and took the original ones off. So, okay. Um, yeah, no, but definitely a very special car. And, and definitely, whenever it rolls out of storage, it, um, it turns some heads, that's for sure. Mate, I take the Ks are very low on it? Yeah, mate, it, it is actually. I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. It's got, what's it got? Um, 125,000 miles yeah. or kilometres on it? Yeah. Miles, that'll be there. Yeah. Wow, it's um, clean. Yeah. Oh, mate, very clean. It's immaculate. So this is Jason's? Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't come out very often. Obviously. Yeah. Um, as everyone knows, these things are, are irreplaceable. So they are now. They, uh, it gets tucked up to bed quite regularly in a, in a safe and secure location. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. yeah. But that's a, um, a really good example of that that model Tirana. Oh, definitely. That is immaculate, mate. That's a credit to you guys. That'll stay in the family forever, I bet. Oh, look, we couldn't. I think it's, you couldn't sell it. No. You never ever could sell it. It's no. too. It's too special to us, and it's irreplaceable. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right, so we'll pop in, and there's another one I believe you've had here from Day Dot too, mate. Yeah, uh, there is an FX. Come and have a look. We'll, we'll wander in and check it out. Yeah. Josh, this one would have to go back to the beginning, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a, 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 one of the first um, 48 215s. Um, the reason that we know it is is because the door locks, the rear door locks in the first run were put in the wrong place, so they put the rear door locks in the back of the door. Oh, I never knew that. Um, and, and then in the next run, they moved them to the front because the, the driver couldn't unlock a rear passenger door. Oh, wow. So, wow. Um, yeah, this car was again sold new here, um, and we. We brought it back in through and it, and it had a full bare metal back, okay. um, was painted and rebuilt and, and everything like that and was finished uh, in the late 90, mid to, mid to late 90s I think it was. Yep. Um, and um, yeah, look, it was uh, something that um, again was, is, is to have something that we sold here way back, you know, 70 odd years ago It's now, phenomenal, mate, it, to do it, that. It is very special. It is. Um, it you wouldn't see that. That's very, very special to do that. Oh, mate, look, it, 
you're always, um, I know Jason and I are always looking, uh, when cars pop up, you look at uh, when they're, where they come from in the heritage, because if you jag one, you just got to... You've got to get it, you got to jump on it straight up, yeah. And that's why we've got, um, further down here, we'll touch on, we've got a, we've got a VF as well. Okay. Um, which was a, the motorsport edition, which was a dealer car, so All that's right. another one that, that's pretty cool that we've We'll wander down and check kept. it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Josh, what have we got here? So this is um, the limited edition run that they did to, to celebrate the, the last of the Commodores um, being built in Australia. Uh, so this is your, your motorsport edition. Um, so Holden gave each of the Holden dealers the opportunity to purchase uh, or to have a um, either a director, a motorsport, or a Magnum Ute. Okay. Um, so yeah, we chose the, the motorsport, um, which we then sent down to Walkinshaw Performance and had a 407 kit put in it. Righto. Um, it's done 7,000 k's, 7,500 k's. That's a beautiful motor car. Yeah, it's um, it it it's got a lumpy cam in it. It sounds tough. It, it it's a throwback to to the nostalgia of the Holden heritage. That's for sure. Oh, that's all I can say. One glance at that car, and I want one. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and we we were um. You know, they were only did a very limited run of these things, so they were, um, you know, they're, they're very special again. So, how many were built of those, mate? Do you know? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't actually, but we were there. There wasn't a lot. Yeah. You know? um, so they're all individually numbered. So, very, very, very rare car. Yeah, definitely, very cool. They had the package really correct then, didn't they? Yeah, they've done. You know, they did some the red highlights and the and the and the red around the sidewalls and the mirror covers and and then yeah, by adding the the cold air and the cam and the and that the Walkinshaw did this, it just you know it's very drivable. You can jump in it and drive to wherever you want in Australia and be comfortable, but have you can't beat cubic inches. You can't, mate. You just can't. No. We'll, we'll have a look at the trim of it, eh? Yeah, definitely. O open, open her up. Open yeah. her up and have a have a squeezy inside. Yeah, no worries at all. But the whole stance and the profile, the colour code, the whole deal, mate, it's a beautiful motor car. Yeah. Yeah, holding through everything at it to to, to make it special. Um, and I mean, at the time, they were they were definitely uh, aware of their heritage and, and, and what they the impact they have on Australia. And you know, this car epitomises what was a phenomenal effort that we were building in Australia. And I was lucky enough to to, to go down and and tour the factory before it shut down. Yep. And, and you know the these dashes the beautiful the, the way that they were put in the car we were the only factory in the world that would that would put them in through the front windscreen like wow they, they just, okay and that they were that the work you know you talk to your workers as you went along the factory line and they were so proud of the quality control that was in the cars you know yep. they were the, one of the most productive gm ones in, the, in yeah. the country i tell you what you know you look at that that's that's a world-class motor car yeah oh it is and and when you drive it it, it just Everything does everything it should and do it does it really well. It's it's a real shame they got to that level and it come to an end. Yeah, and and you know you talk to to different people and the, the stuff that we had coming was just as good. Wow, unbelievable! It's a real pity it all stopped. It is, it is, but you know the life life gets in the way unfortunately it sometimes does. and and you know business decisions were made right or wrong that they were made and. Mm. This is what we're left with—a yeah. fantastic legacy and heritage, and people yeah. that have a strong connection to the brand, which we're going to we're going to find today. Yes, um, you know, makes makes their cars even more special now. That's true. You got to look at it down those lines, exactly, mate. Yep. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, that that is a very special car. I didn't know they existed, to be honest. Yeah, no, they're cool. They're very cool. Very um, nice. But yeah, the the whole package is fantastic. It is. Yeah, that, you'd put that up there with the Corvette up in that range. Oh, definitely. You know, like the the. The brakes and the motors and, and all that, that they, they all share, GM shared all that technology all the way through. Yep. Um, so they've all got special bits bits and pieces which make them go fast. That's In that sure. GM family, mate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mate. So we'll we'll uh, jump, I guess, onto the little Tiranas as they come in and we'll yeah. see what, what the boys yes. bring in. But, um, mate, that's a really good insight to you and the dealership and Jason and the whole history of this place. Yeah. Now we do. I mean, we... we we love what we do. We're, yeah. we're blessed to be in a local community that supports us really well. Yes. And, um, you know, we, we've been here for a long time and we, we have no plans on going anywhere. And, um, you know, we, we love being in the Lockyer Valley and we love days like this yep. um, where we're able to share our passion with like-minded people. So yeah, It brings yeah, it all together. It's fantastic. Yeah, we're excited for today. We yeah. can't wait to see them roll in very shortly. Yep. All right, mate. Thank no you worries. very much for that. Thanks, Darren. Enjoy your day. You too, mate. Thanks, Thank you. mate.
Okay, here we are in Gatton, all Tirana day, and this is Steve uh, with his L34. Steve, how are you, mate? Good, thanks, Darren. Um, we're going to have a bit of a, a run through his car and the history, and he'll he'll be able to give you the spiel on what the car is and what he's done to it and how long he's owned it. But um, I'll let him do that for you. So jump on, Steve, and see what you got. Yeah. All right, now so this is a genuine L34. Uh, they were made in 1974, uh, so 50 years next year. They were uh, the last of the factory race cars. Um, there were 263 of them made. Um, there's quite a few still left, I think. But they, uh, they had a special engine, they had special brakes. They were designed to, uh, to race at Bathurst. Yep. They won twice at Bathurst. Yes. Um, and then the engine out of this they put in the A9X and it won twice again at Bathurst. So this engine's quite special. It has a higher compression, has headers, it has a modified inlet manifold, um, light and flywheel, um, and it's quite a powerful thing. She goes quite nicely, mate. Yeah, it's great to drive, yeah. Bit of the history on the car, Steve. Where, how long have you had it, and how did you find it, and what, what, what was the whole thing of the build on it? So the uh, the car was originally sold at Mount Gambier in South Australia, and uh, I don't know how many owners it's had, um, but I came across the car, a bloke was working for me, and he, he saw my other Tirana, and he said, um, you don't want to buy another Tirana, do you? And I said, oh, not really. He said, oh, it's an L34. And I said, OK. <laughs> Deal <laughs> done. Yeah, I better have a look at it. So the car had sat in a shed for 30 years. Uh, it had a minor bingle in it, and um, and it never got around to getting fixed. So um, we did the deal and then started the restoration. That was 2017. So I think it was back on the road in uh, 2020. Right, so a couple of years? Yeah, two years from when I started, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you took it back to, to the bones, I take it? it? It had it sandblasted and everything. and It was pulled apart, the engine was in pieces, the car was in pieces. So I tried to keep as much originality as yep. I could. But, Smart, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But we had to do quite a bit. Yeah, it, it looks beautiful mate, it's come up a treat. It has, yeah. Did you touch it mechanically or, or not? Um, no, not really, I no. just restored what was there. Yep. I, I rebuilt the engine of course because it was in pieces, but yep. yeah, but no, um, everything was just being rebuilt. Yeah, so basically what's on that car was pretty much what was on the car prior. Yeah, yeah. how they came from the factory. Yep, yep. So we'll have a walk around, mate. Yep. You can just explain what, what you've done, as in paint and stuff, and trim-wise, and... All right, Steve, so... Uh... So with, with these cars, so a normal SLR 5000 um, doesn't have flares, but everyone puts them on because they like the look of it. Yep. So it's a bit hard to see, but if you take those flares off, the mudguards have just been hacked with an oxy torch. So they just cut out... Just chopped off. Yeah, they were sent. The cars were built, sent to Bill Patterson Motors, and, yep. and then he cut cut the guards out, and then um, back in the day. Yep, back in the day. Nothing too flash. No, 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 because they were designed to be racing. So they've got widened uh, offset wheels. Yep. To fill out the flares. But, yep. Um, so if you have a look in the back, you can see there where the Oh yeah, they just Where's chopped them away there. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, but you know, back then they were nothing special. No. That's um, it. And who would have thought they'd come to this? That's right. So you've uh, re-trimmed that, or you haven't? Ah, uh, yeah, re-trimmed the seats, but not the door cards and everything like that. So the other thing in an L34, they don't have a console. Right, yeah. No console. Okay. And there's no carpet in the boot. Getting back to a little bit of race spec, basically. That's it. Yeah. 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 Radios were were not fitted at the factory. They were fitted uh, later on by the dealer. So if they, they wanted one. Went all out with the accessories, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's um that's really really tidy. Actually, that's a beautiful interior, mate. That's it is nice. That is one of the better ones, I think. Looking at it. So there's a bloke in Ipswich, um, Reg Renato, he's, oh, yes. he's the specialist Heard in, of Reg. in GM yeah, interiors. Yeah. Yeah. He's the man when it comes to it. That's it. Correct um, profiles and patterns in the trims. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So you yeah, know that looks really good, but the exterior of the car, mate, I think it's even nicer. It's very nice. The paint is exceptional on it. Um, mate, who did the body and paint on that? So, Ramwell Auto Group at uh, Plainland. Yeah, oh, okay. Mark, uh, he's, he's very fussy with um, restorations, and so, the, you know, there's no bog. Yeah. It's all... all no bog. No, 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 and that's that's what you don't want. You want don't want that naughty word in there. No, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, we're a bit the same. We're all about the no bog thing. Yeah, it's yeah. good, eh? It's the way to go, mate. It is, yeah. yeah. But um, the paint's come up. Like I mean, all your trinkets, all your moulds, everything on that car's been fitted up correctly. Luckily, you know, all this was still came with the car, all the trim. How how good? That yeah. is very nice. That thing. Yeah. Where did you find it, mate? Ipswich. And, and what, just private owner or? Yeah, private owner, sitting in a shed. Wow. For how yeah, long? 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. Was it rusty or? No. So we had to sandblast the body and see what we had. Yep. And there was very little rust in it. Yeah. Which was good. You know, they rust around here. Yeah, back, back window. So there's a little bit around there. Yes. The, yeah. the, the normal um, bad little areas that play up, that's yeah. just the norm. But the other thing you can't see underneath, so you know where there was dents before, that's all been taken out. Done all the floor and under, under yeah, look all the it rails. It looks as good underneath as it does on the top. Nice, very nice. But the overall package, if we walk around that, mate, I think um, anyone would have to be very happy to own that motor car. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to drive. So how long have you actually owned it? 2017. Righto, okay. All right. And I, I presume there's no... Um, ambitions to sell that at any time soon? Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, mate, that's a credit to you, actually. Yeah. It really is. It's no, a nice thanks, car. Darryl. The colour, the black and white, it really suits that car. Yeah. yeah. Glacier white is the colour they that's used it. on LH, and uh, LJs were glacier. That's a great car there. Yes. Yeah. But all up, very, very nice example of that car. Mate, that is a credit to you. Thanks, Darrell. All right, good to meet you, Steve, and um, we'll uh, touch base somewhere along the line again, I'd say. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you, mate. Ta. gentleman here by the name of Bruce we're gonna have a check out his little ride here how are you Bruce yeah, good thanks sir. so mate um, how long have you owned this piece of history I bought this back in about 2003 um, so that's nearly 20 years right yeah. was it good Nick bad Nick when you got it no it was fairly average um, I've had it restored um, I'm not painter so um, yeah I wasn't able to do that part myself I'm mechanically mod I'm aircraft engineer by trade okay so you're um, no slouch obviously yeah so mechanical wise no problem but um, yeah bodywork and all that sort of stuff that's your business it is my so, share so, um, yeah but um, no it's um, it's been a labor of love I think uh, same as I think a lot of these guys do yeah. the same sort of thing so um, I'm quite happy with where it's at at the moment so um, so mate where did you find it it was owned by a previous club member of the A9X Toronto Club. Yep. Um, and um, I, I did own a, a two-door version of the, the A9X way back. Um, and silly enough to sell it at the wrong time. Um, Who knew? Exactly right. If I would have known any better, you, you know. She'd be still in the collection. Hindsight's 2020, isn't it? It is, um, it is. But um, I'm more than happy with this one. I just love the colour. It's a very rare colour. It's called Super Mint. It looks trick. And they only made four in this colour. Really? Only four? And there was two with the, the chamois trim. So it's basically one of two car. Nice combo. It is. It's beautiful. Um, so, mate, when you got it, it was rusty or rough? Or? No, no. It was just, just rough. Yeah. It, it had had um, an average life, I suppose. Uh, just little dints and, you know, the paint was going off because it was... You know, 25 years old, basically when I got it. Yeah. Um, it was a bit so, like me, mate. Need a facelift. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it had been used 
you know, used as a car. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not like these days, guys put them in the shed and they don't use them, which is unfortunate. It but, is. Um, no, it just needed a, a good going over. And as as you know, you take the paint off. You find what, the sins. What you find is the sins. <laughs> the sins are underneath, and um, there was a bit of work to be done with it. But um, all in all, it's uh, it's come up really, really good. Mate, we'll have a wander around, eh? Yep, sure. You can just tell us what's been done as we go, I guess. Um, well, basically, it's just had the, the little dints and scratches taken out of it. It was a, a total respray. Bare metal uh, respray? Be, uh, no, not bare metal, but pretty much. Yeah. It, it had, had a had a bit of an accident in the back corner, um, yep. and it needed a, a bit of a, um, a bit of uh, cleaning up, so Tidy to up. speak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the repair that was done on it was pretty average. Okay. So, um, and that that was about all that was wrong with it. Really, there was no rust in it, um, which was. A little bit unusual because normally a model of vehicle will have the same problem in the same area. They do. Like I know with the hatchbacks, it was always the hatch lid. That's right, you know, always. At the base of it, there was always rust in there. Yep. Um, I didn't find any rust whatsoever in this thing. Um, which, which is unusual. Which, yeah. Um, but um, So basically the body was pretty good on it? It was straight enough, yeah. Yeah. Um, Apart from, like I said, that, that rear quarter oh, yes. that had been replaced. And, um, Mate, the trim, what was that like? The trim was 25 years old. <laughs> you know, it, it, was, it was fairly average, but I thought, if I'm going to do a job, I'm going to do a job. Do it right. There's no, there's no point half doing something. Yeah. Like, as I said, I'm ex, I, I spent 20 years in the Air Force and then another 30 years working for the Air Force. Yes. So, um, in my line of work, working on aircraft, um, near enough's not good enough. I've got, I know exactly how that rolls. And, I'm the same, and I'm, well, that's just the way I am. You know, if I do something, I'm going to do it ten tenths. So, um, 110 percent. We basically did everything. We did a, a new interior, you know, yep. in, engine work. Well, that wasn't that wasn't a big deal yep. mechanical wise. Mate, the um, trim in it looks really good. Who did the trim? Um, Reg at Muscle Car Trimming. Okay. Um, he's over at uh, Karen Lee or Karana Down somewhere. Right, eh? Um, perfect, beautiful job. Uh, he's, he's another professional. Um, done an absolute that, great job of it. He has done a very nice job yeah. in there, mate. He's sewn that in and, and trimmed that back beautifully. That, that looks factory, it, the way he's done that. Well, it is. That is the original. Uh, what they call golf ball trim yes in, in here yeah yeah um correct profile in it yeah and the um just the chamois the uh, the other option was what they call slate gray yep or black most people call it black, black but it's called, yeah. actually called slate gray um but there was two made in slate gray and two in the chamois as i said so that's a very rare car it is yeah and that's what makes them more valuable i guess yeah um, if you like a green car. Yeah, no, that, that's yeah. beautiful, that colour. I love it. It looks great. A lot of people black. do like it. Um, it's different. It is. It's very different. Yeah. Um, but back in the day, a lot of people saw the white ones, the red ones, the yellow ones, and they didn't realise there was 23 different colours in the wow, A9X. I didn't know that. Yeah. And even today, a lot of people don't associate a four-door with an A9X. Correct. They always look at Bathurst and the Two hatchbacks door. racing and That's whatever. Right. Yeah. But they made 305 of these guys wow. in the sedans and 100 hatchbacks. So, so yeah, they're very unique, special car. It is. Yeah. Mate, we'll pop the bonnet, eh? Yep, Have a look sure. under there. Okay, so what have we got here, mate? That's your 308. Holden engine. She stock? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I found out when I did my restoration, when I pulled it to bits, it had all L34 oh. gear in it. So it, it's it's not an L34 block, but it's it, it's pretty much an L34 spec engine. Rightio. Um, it's got the modified camshaft, pistons, crankshaft. Um, so that was from factory or not? No. No, it was done no, after. No, these from the factory were a standard L31 engine. Right. They, they weren't the L34. The L34s only came in the L34s themselves. Yep. Okay. So. Um, so this they, has been modified yeah. in its life. Yeah. Yeah. But 
uh, they were able to modify the race cars because they already had the homologation for the L34. Right. So they were able to do that to the uh, the A9X engines. So what gearbox and diff, what have you done there? Nothing, it's the, it's all standard M21 gearbox. Okay. Uh, diff's the, the standard um, Salisbury. Yep, Salisbury. Uh, four-wheel disc brakes. Yep, is that a 10 bolt? Yes. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Mate, that'd go quite nicely, that car. It goes like stink. <laughs> As I say, it, it does. It really, it's quite, um, quite towy. It's been on the uh, dyno, and it's uh, 240 horsepower. Nice on the back wheels. Very nice. So it's, it's got a bit of, got a bit of stick. So it'd be a very nice cruising car. That it is. It's very, very nice to drive. Um, I've always said, like I said, I've owned the hatchback, and I've owned the sedan. The sedan, to me, drives better. Yep. Um, Handles. It may be the setup of the vehicle, like the suspension setup and everything, um, yep. that makes the difference. But um, my preference, yeah, I, I just love this car. It's, yeah, it's, it's a nicer one than the hatch that I had. Yeah, yeah. made it special. Yeah. So you've had it roughly how long, mate? Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll stay with you forever. I've said to my wife, I will sell it when I can't drive it. Okay. <laughs> So that's quite a while, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hoping so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Mate, you've got to live that dream, haven't you? Absolutely. That's what they say. Mate, you've yeah. earned it. The legend yeah. lives on. It does. It yeah. does. And you've got to keep that alive. Absolutely. Yep. But, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure to walk around this car with you and have a look. You're another man that obviously passionate about what he does. Absolutely. Credit to you. Yep, thank you. And everyone that's done the work on that car. Yep. Mate, absolute pleasure to meet you. Yep, me and too. Thank you very much for that. Thanks, My pleasure. Mate. Thank you. All right. Almost forgot a couple of important features with this car. And Bruce, you might want to point these out. Okay. No, uh, the, the number plate. Um, my wife came up with this idea. Uh, it's Roman numerals. Um, they're for A9X. That's pretty cool. It is. That's a lot, very. A lot of people look at it and wonder. What the know, hell? What it means? Yep. Yeah. But no, mate. I got that. That's very. Um, yeah. That's a good little touch. That. Now there's something else, we're going to pop inside and have a look at the glove box, there's quite a few iconic names on this glove box. So you've got a um, quite a collection there of signatures Bruce, that's a bit unique. Well, I'm not sure it's unique but um, that's what I've got, there's Peter Brock, Bob Morris and Jim Richards who were the race drivers and uh, on the other side I've got Jay Follese. Um, John Shepherd and um, what's his name? Neil Burns, who was the uh, the engine guru at the time. Okay, yeah. mate, that's um, that's probably worth a few dollars. That glove well, box, possibly <laughs> it might do in, in years to come. Um, yeah, I was quite fortunate. Uh, we were at the um, Newcastle um, Tirana Fest back in 2019, and um, just happened to have. Those three gentlemen, Joe Felice and um, Neil Burns and John Shepherd, all together. Wow! In a little huddle, and um, I had my um, glove box lid with me, and uh, I got all three of them to sign it. Uh, Mate, all the planets together. aligned. That worked. Absolutely. Yeah. That is very cool. It was a um, yeah, very fortunate. You were, yeah. mate. That that's uh, a one of, I think that. Well, that probably would be, yeah. 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 Mate, that whole thing, yeah, that package really takes me. I love it. Love yeah. everything you've done to that car. Beautiful job, mate. Thank you. Good on you, Bruce. Thanks, mate. Thanks, so. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to meet Peter here today, and we're going to check out his little uh, XU1 Lone Arranger in colour. And this is Peter. How are you, mate? I'm well, thanks, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, good. Nice and cool here this morning in Gatton. A little bit brisk, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, story on this one, mate. Yes, I bought this as an apprentice in the Air Force in 1973 on the 30th of June uh, from McLeod, Kelso and Lee in uh, Jesmond in Newcastle. What year was that mate? 1973. Righto. So I've had it just over 50 years. So you've owned this virtually not quite from new but almost? Almost, yes, yep. yes. It's done 137,000 miles. Genuine miles. The, mo the motor has been reconditioned by a farmer at uh, uh, out near Pitchworth. Yep. He put a sleeve in the block, 
to this, and that was in the 70s, I think. Wow, she's still going. And it has not missed a beat since. Wait, what's in it? What is the original uh, motor in it? Original motor, original wow. motor. The head has never been touched. Yep. The gearbox has never been never been touched. It's got a replacement diff. Um, Would have had a banjo under it? Yeah, still, yeah. Got, still got the banjo, but yes. yeah, it's a replacement. The yeah. original one, the bolt came out of the crown wheel, and that doesn't do them much good. Familiar story, that one. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that before, mate. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, I was only doing about 10 mile an hour. You were lucky. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. would have chewed it a bit, though. Oh, it made a bit of a mess, yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'll walk up around the front here and have a look under the bonnet. So, so basically, Peter, that's fairly stock in there to what that car was Abs back in the day. Absolutely, yes. Yes, the original carbies, people say they're hard to keep in tune. All that's ever been done is um, the diaphragms and the O-rings on the bottom. Yep. They're still all the original needles and seats and still, everything else. Still performs and, and does its thing quite well, does it? Sorry? It still performs and does its oh, thing? Oh, if I put new plugs in it, it will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they like They like the spark plugs. Yeah, yeah. Yep. About yep. 1,000 miles, 1,500 miles, about all they're good for. Yep. Up but, for a new set. But the car itself, still original? Very, very much so, yes. We'll walk around this, Peter, and have, a, have okay. a bit of a look and let people see what a uh, genuine thing really, truly looks like. Well, they're the original wheels. They're called nibless wheels. You can't put a hubcap on them. So they're factory? They're factory. Uh, the replacement wheel trims, people used to like to uh, knock them off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but they are Holden wheel trims, bought from a Holden dealer in Toowoomba. Okay. Um, many, many years ago. I tell you what, mate, for originality, that car's got virtually, as far as rust goes, nil rust. And like the doors still. Wow. Close that... as, as, as good as today. Your rubbers need replacing, but I'm afraid if I replace the rubbers, the doors won't close like that. Yeah. <laughs> the carpet, that's the original carpet in there. The, the front seats were just recovered recently by a man in Warwick. Did an excellent job. They look pretty well factory, mate, to look yeah, at them. Yeah, yeah, he, he's got an XU one, so he, okay. knew, he knew what I wanted. Yep, yep. Yeah, and he's, um, yeah, very good. But basically the car itself is original, Peter, that's Very correct. much so, yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, very rare. Yeah. You garage yeah. that, obviously. Yes. Yeah. First few years of its life, being an apprentice in the Air Force, and spent a lot of time parked in a gravel uh, car park at Newcastle and then at Amberley. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's been pampered for the last, well, since I got married yeah. 45 years ago or so. Yep. It's, it's gone the test of time, mate. Yes. When you have a look at the, the boot, well, the, uh, the fuel tank's a bit, bit sad because when I blew the motor up in uh, Yass, dropped the top off a piston, uh, well, we went to the local uh, wrecking yard, bought a 186 or 179 and put in it. And put, luckily, I put the original motor in the boot, and that's what's dented all the, uh, the fuel, can, fuel yeah, yeah. tank. Gotcha, yep. And uh, went well just with a standard 186 in it, too. Yeah, she went all right. Just with a standard single carby. And uh, you had the motor rebuilt by a man at um, Humbarum, by the name of Terry DeWire. Right, eh? Uh, so basically, apart from that, you've had no real issues with it? No, uh, I suppose I was young once. <laughs> <laughs> we all were, mate. <laughs> and uh, here's some uh, work that I had done by Sowby's panel work in Toowoomba back in the 80s. How times have changed with prices and... My God, <laughs> what a difference. That's history there, right there in itself, yeah. mate. When's that? 1st of June, 1987. Wow. Like a... I was a bit younger then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Top nose panel was uh, fifty nine dollars forty seven cents. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> now you'd be flat out even to find that bit. That is the original spare tyre. Man, that I wouldn't is unreal. Like to, I wouldn't like to use it, but uh, that is the original Olympic wide ride spare tyre that came with the car. You wouldn't change that for quids. No, and it, it still feels yeah, holds yeah. air. Yeah, yep. My God, mate, that car is very, very rare. You've retained I, I, that I, I bloody well. I intend to uh, retain it for many years to come. Mate, you'd be stupid <laughs> not to. I've been offered pretty good money for I it. I bet. But, uh, 
Money doesn't still, come into that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Still enjoy driving it. Hopefully take to either Newcastle or Sydney next year. Right. We've been to Newcastle to what's called Trana Fest in Newcastle. Yep. Three or four times in it. Right. With the XU1 club. Yep. It's always a good um, good week or so. Mate, I, I'm not up to speed with the full circuit of these things, the Tirana circuit, but you as one of these members, that would be one of the rarer ones, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. There is another bloke in Ipswich who's got one that he bought brand new. Yep. Um, unfortunately, not here today, but, uh, yeah, he's a white one. He's had since brand new. He's got um, underdash air, uh, air con from, from new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's fully option, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah another op option that's very rare, I can show you, is the uh, radiator... This here was one of the top options from, from Holden. Oh, wow. To stop the bugs going in through Bug the radiator. <laughs> My God, that's unreal. The radio still works. All the gauges have never been touched. They all still work. Very, very rare motor car. The original, uh, I had a um, kick put through the booster and the, uh, just, but only recently. Yep, mate, all you can see by your rad support, under the bonnet, she's yeah. all still stock, never been played with. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mate, you know, to, to retain that as you've done, good work, that's all I can say. Thanks very much, yeah. mate, it's been, been yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, mate, hang on to that and, and cherish <laughs> that. To have a car like that today, good luck to try and find one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I could sell it, but I couldn't. I'd want to buy another one. You just can't. You can't. You, know, you can't buy another one you've owned for 50 years. That's right. I still remember when I first bought it, and I was 19 year old, driving it from Newcastle to the RAF base. Yep. You couldn't take the smile off my face. Yeah. I thought I was the king you're, of the road. You were the man. I was the man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and mate, back in the day, what took you? What was your passion? You just liked the Tirana, the look? Uh, my brother had an LCXU1. Right, eh? Uh, and once I'd been in that, that's all I wanted. That was it. <laughs> that was you, it. You, yeah. were, you were sold. <laughs> I was sold, yep, yep. But mate, yeah, yeah very good choice. And, and to keep that the way you've done that, you know, you just don't see that these days. More good luck than good management. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you would have had some fun in this back in the I, day. Well, it's been, uh, I don't know if you can recall, there used to be a dirt hill climb track in Toowoomba. Yes. Called Echo Valley. Yep. I used to run it there. Righto. And I used to also drag race it at uh, Service Paradise uh, on the old drag strip there. Yes, yeah. Did 15.168 okay. at 91 point something mile an hour. So it hasn't that been was, a... That, that was pretty good at the time. A bloody oath it was. <laughs> so mate, that hasn't been a slouch, you've enjoyed it. No, 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 it hasn't been, yeah, pampered all its life. No. It's pampered now, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no mate, so another glance down the side of that and um, for like everyone out there... The side's nice and straight as you can see. You can... You can Most get, of it has been re repainted at some stage. At some point. Yeah. At yeah, some but, point. But never had a full restoration. No, no. Or, no. Just a freshen up. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Just what needed to be done. But mate, no, that's a credit to you. I tell you what, that, that wind has got a nip to it, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. <laughs> <laughs> it has. But all right, that's a uh, that's a very rare car with with obviously a very rare individual to do something like that. What he's done here, but mate, it's been a pleasure, and it's just a good thing to come and see a car like that. But um, well, I hope you retain it and I enjoy will. it. And when you need to know where the where the paint's supposed to go when you're painting um, uh, your car, yeah, Matt's give us Matt's car, give us a yell. I'll do that, and, mate. Uh, Thank you very much for that. Comes in very. It's been used a few times to find out yep. where the where the black finishes and starts and yes good reference points yeah yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. absolutely mate well, i'd be i'd be pleased to bring it up and take as many photos as you'd like we'll probably hold you to that okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully yeah okay. all right peter good. thank you very much no mate. worries mate no worries thank because... you Okay, so here we are at the Gat and Alterana day with Tom. How are you, mate? I'm good, Daryl. How's yourself? Good, thank you, mate. Yeah. Um, he's another enthusiast. We're going to have a walk around his little SL here. He'll give you the spiel on this particular car. He'll tell you how, he's, how long he's owned it, what it is, what it's been done to it, so you can get an insight into that. But, um, yeah, Tom, if you'd like to tell us what you've got here. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's Daryl, it's a 1977 LX Tirana SL. 4.2 V8 sedan um, manual, four-speed manual. 
Um, I um, oh, Mandarin red is colour. Yes. Um, I uh, bought it from a guy up in Bundaberg in 2008, and I've had it ever since. Okay. And it, and the condition that it's in, mate. How was it? Close to this or not? When uh, it, it was it. It was what you see there is virtually how I how I bought the car. Right. Um, because um, everything else was pretty good, and I've, I've, as I say to everybody else that um, I, um, when they, we talk about it, um, I congratulate the people, the owner, the previous owners in the past for giving me a good car to basically work with and look after, and um, that's how you see it. Yeah. So yeah, basically it, it hasn't changed. It's Just very the, very tidy, mate. Yeah, we try to try my best to keep it um, the best we, I can do. You know, um, you know, keeping the maintenance up, keeping it clean, uh, and that's yeah. You yeah. know. So, mate, mechanically, what, what have we got here? Okay, well, that's a uh, yeah. Four, as I said, it's a 4.2 litre V8, 253. Um, it's got a 350 Holly on it at the moment. Um, it, it, you know, normally they have the um, um, is it two barrel Rochester yes, isn't yeah. on it. Unfortunately, it didn't it didn't come with that one, and um, a 350 was sort of more more accessible at the time to put on it. Um, it did have a dirty big 550 or something yeah, on there when I bought much. it, and it was just too much. It was you might as well just tip the fuel out. In the yeah, ground. ridiculous. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's why I put a 350 on it. Nice, and um, it's a little bit more economical. It'll run know. so much better, mate. It does. It run heaps better, Daryl. Yes. Yeah. But apart from that, you know, you know, just just, just the, the upkeep. I've just left it left it alone. You know. Right. Yeah. So it's it's a you standard know. engine. Yes. Is that the original motor for this car? It's the original motor, but not the original condition. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I got that. Yeah. yeah. But mate, the car itself. So you've basically had paint done to it? Uh, that was all done prior to me purchasing the car. Yep. Um, it's the, it is the original colour, just not the original paint. Yeah, right. It's gone from obviously the old lacquer to a two-pack finish, obviously. That's correct, yes, Dale, yeah. yeah. Yep. But they've done a nice job, mate, looks the part. They have, yeah. It's been, it's been wonderful, um, uh, you know, easy to keep clean and what have you. It comes up beautifully with a bit, bit of polish and what have you. As you can see, it's... It's holding up pretty well, yeah. How long have you owned it, mate? Uh, well, 2008 I bought it. Um, so that's, what's that, about 15 years or something, yep. isn't it? Yes. Yep. So you've, you've obviously been, you know, in it, driven it, enjoyed it in all that time? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Dale. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't stay at home for too long undercover. It's, um, we, we try to get out and club. Well, that's what I mainly bought it for. It's club runs. It's club runs and, and, and so forth, yeah. And we, I really enjoy it. Me and my, my, my other half. She, her, and I, we really enjoy. It's a good thing, mate. Yes, yes. Yeah. A lot of enjoyment, a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. No, we've had some good times um, uh, in this in this car. Yeah, wonderful. You know, meeting the social side of things yeah. with the clubs. It's you fantastic. Know. Yeah. We have two clubs here today, and I'm a member of both of them actually. Yep. So you know, mate, we'll have a walk around and have a look at it. Yeah. Right? Sure. Yep. So basically, mate, as you said. It's been painted in the past. Yes. Um, and now you've just maintained what you've got here, basically. Yes. Yeah. Well, the uh, the mini lights that came on the car when I bought it, and um, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, they were, they were very new when I bought them. Right. Eh? Um, that was from the previous owner. Yep. Uh, as I've been told by the original owner, when he bought it in 1977, uh, it's been. Um, uh, what they call dealer optioned or factory optioned. Um, a lot of it nowadays might seem funny. Uh, back then it was, um, you know, like for instance, the, the uh, uh, passenger side mirror there. Option. That's an option. Yep. Uh, it's got the a SLR sports dash in it. Option again. That's mate. an option again. Yep. Um, rear window to mister. And last but not least, the, uh, there's a stone tray uh, underneath. Yeah, under the front in, in, there. In the engine bay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the the, the, the dealer or factory the options. options. back in the day. Uh, yeah, from Cessnock Motors in New South Wales. Okay. That's where the car originally comes from. Right. And um, then, you know, and like I said, that's what the previous owner told me. That that's, that was the incentives uh, when he bought it because he was after an SLR 5000. Right. And uh, he ended up buying this one because it had a V8 in it, had the manual in it. And I know this might sound more funny now. But he saved three hundred dollars. <laughs> so, so that was a, that was a big deal back in that the day. A, mate. That was a big deal. Yes, yeah, three hundred dollars, and and that's what it, yeah. Now they'd barely fill the tank, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a walk around the back yeah, of it. Sure, Darren. Yeah, no problem. 
You've got the little overriders on the bar there, mate, I see. Yes, yes, yeah, front and rear and that. 4.2 and the colour coordination with your rear louver and everything, mate, very yes, nice. Yes, yes. That, oh. that car's very clean. Yeah, we try to try my best to keep it keep it as it is. Um, try to keep it original, as you know, no flares, no spoilers on it, because that's what, what the car came out in. And you don't want to do that, you don't want to bastardise a good thing, you just no, don't? No, no, no. Flares and spoilers are fine, you know, but um, you know, but my thoughts have always been they should be on the cars that they came, you know, that correct work with them. And this is an SL model, and the SL didn't come out with them. So. That's it, mate. And the trim, original in it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. As, as you can see, the um, the, the, the sports, the, the he's got the SLR dash in there, as you can see. Yep. Um. Oh, I, well, I put the steering wheel cover on there, but anyway, that's all virtually, you know, that. Oh, yeah, nice. Mate, that, that's in beautiful, pristine condition, Sorry. mate, for the age. Yeah, they're not, um, they're all in pretty good nick. Very good. I just get some super cheap auto um, seat covers just to try and protect it, you know. Yep. Protect them. Manual, of course. Man manual, of course. Uh, and, you know, all the rear and that's all, all, all original in the back there. No, mate, that's a credit. Yeah, you're you're yeah. another, obviously, enthusiast. One look at that car tells me that. Yeah, I try my best, Daryl, to... That is a beautiful you know, car, mate. You've yeah, done because it. Because we want, you know, I want people, you know, all generations to, um, you know, to appreciate the car. Admire you know, the things. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. Admire it, you know. Well, the history now, mate. And the history, <laughs> yeah. But no, mate, very nice. Very nice car. Always been a fan of the colour. Love the colour. It pops a bit. It's nice and bright. Yeah. Enhances all your stainless and chrome and yes, but that no mate um, well done Another well presented Tirana mate been a pleasure. No worries Daryl. Thank and you very much. We'll probably see you down the road Yeah, you certainly will. Thank Thanks you. Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you mate Thanks, Tom. Good on you. All right, so not a Tirana something a bit different and this is Brian. How are you buddy? Good yourself? Good mate um, Brian's got a panel van and he's got that little angry monster in it there it's got that awesome chev look about it but anyway we'll let him tell you what he's got here and what he's done so what have we got here mate we've got a 454 chevy done the radio new radiator i've had it for around 35 years now right eh? what was in it to start with um 253 the 308 was blown up okay i had a 253 in when i bought it right eh? and i put a 327 in it with a super slick at five speed, blew the gearbox up. Yeah. So I thought I'd go bigger motor, bigger gearbox. So and what, so this is a, a what did you say, sorry mate, in there now? 454. 454, what have you got behind that, Brian? A Trimatic five speed. Okay. How does that, like is she sort of stock or not? It's just worked a bit. Right. Not, not overworked. Yeah. So it's not, it's not very aggressive, but it's nice to move. Just nice, she's not overdone, yeah. not too yeah. angry, mate. No, not aggressive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a good thing. Yeah, no. When you get aggressive, mate, they get you too hard to drive most times. They become a little bit piggish. Yeah. 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 They'll, they'll tend to be overheat and become a bit of a problem. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So how long has that been in there, mate? Oh, around three years now. Right, eh? Yeah. And why 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 the big block? Why'd you go that way? Oh, I've always wanted to go a big block motor and I thought I went a big block motor. Yeah. yeah. And mate, the Chevy, you can't go you far past, past them. I, with the 327 I used to have in it. Yep. It was a nice, nice little fast motor, but when I blew the gearbox I thought I always want to go big block, so I went big block. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. blame you mate, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that, I'm yeah. just looking at that admirer and that thing. Yeah. i got a real soft spot for them, I love them. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. And you don't even use all the power in it. No. 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 So mate, the colour of it, was this original, you changed it or? No, it's maroon, it used to be original colour. Right, eh? so you, you've yeah. given it a bit of a freshen up all yeah. over? Yeah, all over, yeah, red paint. Yeah. And have you done anything trim wise to it? Um, just the seats, repulsive material. It used to be white inside. Yep. Full roof line and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Yeah, no, really good. So you like the panel vans obviously? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good car. Hey, checks. Yeah. Yeah, back HX. in the day. Yeah. 77. You don't see a lot of them anymore, mate. They've disappeared they, now. They're getting rarer, yeah. Very rare. I went down to Bindigo there this year to a Panavent show down there. Righto. Good turnout. Yeah, really good turnout. Yeah. 
Next one's down Victoria, 50 years of Penavans. Wow, that'll be a, a real good event to turn up to. One time we went down to Bathurst, they had 24 hour racing down there. Wow. And they let us go on the track at lunchtime. We filled the whole track up with Penavans. How cool. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Might you be loving that? Oh, we loved it, all right. Yeah. yeah it's good. Be a, that'd be an awesome day. Yeah. yeah. No. But um, we'll have a bit of a walk around, have a look yep. at it, mate, eh? I call it the Red Devil. The Red Devil, mate. Red Devil, got the devil in the centre there. What is the actual colour name of that, mate? What do you call that? It's, uh, I don't know. I lost the name of it. It's nice, it suits it's, it. I like what it looks like. You've yeah, done your little blackouts here and there on it, looks good. Yeah, I like the red where you look straight into it and just goes and goes into it. The depth. Depth, yep. Yeah, no, mate, that, that's cool. That looks very mm. nice, that. Yeah. But you got your GDS guards on it? Yep. They're original. They're not, not cut-ins. And they're hard to find now. Yeah. They're really hard to they're find. They're getting rarer and rarer. I found a set of WB ones, but they come only go as far so down on the front end of the guards. Yep. And got a different panel underneath. That's right. Yeah. But to get those, mate, they, they wouldn't have been easy to find. Uh, I bought them in on the last pair. This was the last pair I bought. Well, you were lucky. Yeah. Yeah, you're very lucky, mate. Yes. But um, she's pretty stock around the back. Yep. I try to keep it as stock as possible. The only thing I'd change is drive, drive change, like the motor and gearbox. Everything else is stock. I like what you've done in the back, the, the devil yeah. bit, mate. That's cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's very, that's uh, that's a cool little add on, mate. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's no, good. And anywhere we go, we get waves all the time. Oh, mate, you would. Yeah. 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 Takes me back, back in the day, girl, yeah. when I was a young fella. <laughs> <laughs> Not going there. You're still young now, aren't nah, you? I wish. It all depends on who you feel. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right, yeah. mate. I uh, love the old girl. Yeah, no, very, very unique now. But most of these got cut down to utes. They did. Yeah. I was guilty of doing a couple of them back yeah. in the day. Yeah. yeah. But you can tell a Richard Ute to a cut down. Richard Ute's got holes in front of the pan. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right, mate. You're yeah. spot on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I know him well. Yeah, no. I had a HT, actually. Yeah? Yeah. And the very last of them, the Sandman, I actually ordered one to buy. Yeah. But, but I was... Because of life's things, it didn't happen, but I actually signed up to get it. But unfortunately, didn't take delivery of it. Yep. But I wished I had it. Yeah. yeah just rare as... You don't see them anymore. No. The, but, um, yeah, the old vans, mate. I Just between you and I... Few nights at the drive-in, mate. Back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. But yeah, mate. No, no, no intentions of ever getting rid of it. You're going to keep it forever. I probably will do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My kids got things they want to do with it already. Yeah. That's that. Find over whose is whose. Yeah. yeah. Mate, love the, the little yeah. shabby bow tie on there. Yep. That's looks, a looks nice there. Eh? Nice little touch, mate. But yeah, Brian, that's a tidy ride, mate. It is nice. And apparently, you got to put the gr grill in there. Without the grill being in there, they say a rag or something gets stuck down there. That's it. And cause troubles. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. You got all sorts of grief going on. Yeah, so I try to be as tidy as possible. That way, the police don't pick it. Another concept, different style, but mate, like it, loving yeah. it, yeah. loving the chef thing. You're a good man, Brian. It's a pleasure to meet you and look at your Thank car. You. Thank you, Thank mate. You. You're welcome. And now we're going to crank this little beast up and we'll listen to this big block purr. Can't beat that Chevy grunt. I'll tell you what, that is music to my ears. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Give it, a, give it another app I like that. Thank you. Wow, that's not exactly a Tesla.
That's the real deal. Good on you, Brian. You, mate, you're keeping that dream alive, and I love it. <laughs> you're a good man. You can't be dead sound. Thanks, buddy. Thank you're, not, you. you're a man that's obviously not playing electrics. <laughs> <laughs>I tell you what, that was an awesome day. A great day. Beautiful what? weather and great cars. Beautiful. Yeah. Really, really impressed with the turnout. Good range too. XU1s, A9Xs. Got lot. it all. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Don't know. Does that, yeah. is that familiar? I know the face. It's a ghost that walks. Well, mate, I tell you what, that's a bloody good day. Oh, excellent day. A lot of cars, XE1s, A9Xs, everything in between. Yeah. Really good day. Good turnout, good yeah, people. It's absolutely. excellent. I had a good time. That's not the delivery guy, is it? Mate, if it's not, it's his twin. But that's a bit scary. Wow. Yeah. Another great day. Another, another day down. At Gatton Holden. And remember, at the end of the day, Keep it real, keep it right, and we'll catch you next time. That's it, mate, you're fired. <laughs> right over, ready? Hope that all went well. <laughs> okay, so we're going to meet Peter here today. He's the proud owner of this little lone arena. So, go again, mate. I'm stumbling over myself.